Okay. Okay, here's the Tom Griffin Memorial muffler design consisting of a of a steel pipe and a slotted insert. Now this is uh this has got a weld welded bottom. There's about 32 holes, 2 4 5 2 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 more, there's eight rows of five holes, about 40 holes. Um, here is the washer that goes on top that's welded, uh, and it's also torched out to accommodate the one inch pipe uh, because the hole in the washer is smaller than one inch. Now, when you torch that, be careful not to rip out the side. Uh, here's a finished muffler, seven inches long, six inches on the inside, so it's about like one inch from the base. Now here's a, a pipe fitting. What we use is, is elbows that can be screwed on such that the muffler can actually be taken on and off as needed from the power cube. Okay, And next, from the muffler, you have a pipe that goes in here. And then the flange, these are the flanges cut out from 316 stock with a pattern based on the actual flange. This is the, uh, what do you call that? From the muffler. And then you clean that off and ream it if it doesn't fit the pattern. Weld it accordingly. Um, basically weld it to that. Now this, the length of this pipe here can vary depending on the geometry of the engine. Like it should be standard standardized for what we do, but in our cases, since we had different engines, this would have to be bigger or shorter so it could fit into the, the power cube. Uh, here's another detail. We typically cut off the pipe fittings so that we can weld them. We don't have to use the whole one. Just weld it on after you've got the whole assembly, um, which that needs to be torched out. So you put it on here. That's welded on. So it's screw-in, so it's modular replaceable. So we like the pipe fittings. They're modular and, and replaceable. That's about it for the muffler.